Hello everybody and welcome back to another modded character showcase. Today we are going to be taking a look at Martha of Bethany. This is a mod that's just come out. The character is currently in open testing. It's a beta character. It's not by any means finished. Um, but we are going to give it a go because I've been told quite a few times that we should. Essentially from what I can tell this character kind of plays around with light. Um, and you don't really use like keys, bombs and coins the same way you normally would. It seems to be that there's some difference about it. So let's just jump in, see what we can do um, and hope for the best. Right, I'll just turn my fan off because I'm hoping it's not too loud for you guys. But yeah, let's jump into this character and see what's going on. Because yeah, I, I like I said, I don't really understand the character too much. But basically, we can build up uh, like a meter called Herp. And we can use Herp to do certain things. Um, from what I understand, we can use it to do a light blast. Or we can also use it to do something else, to smite enemies. So, if we take a look at the description here, double tap the fire key to shoot a grand cross. All coins, keys, and bombs will convert into herb counters. We can consume two herb to unleash a light blast and seven herb to smite enemies by holding Q. Uh, our light blast blasts can break locks and rocks. So, as you can see here. Okay, so... Uh, for now, let's just unlock them all, yeah, so we can play around with it. So, E is going to be a light blast. Q is going to be this. We can double tap. Oh, there you go, to do, a, like, a throw. And I'm guessing that consumed her. Oh, no, that's just, a, that's just not a charge. We don't have to consume anything for that. So, we've got move attack. we got double tap for these. Um, e to blast through and Q to smite. Hold Q, Okay. Interesting. Okay, I like the idea. I like the idea. So let's see what we can get done with this character. So I guess I want to be double tapping a lot to try and use this because that seems pretty damn strong. I mean, I wonder if that benefits from um, tier modifiers because imagine that thing with Herming. Boy, that'd be entertaining. But yeah, this seems this seems pretty strong. Seems pretty strong so far. I like it. So picking up those, if we can get to them, will give us hope. <laughs> so we've got to try and use as much of that as we can. Um, so we just got to try and like collect things. It's kind of an interesting way to play, really. I quite like the idea of it. Um, I always like it when characters sort of take a core mechanic and mess around with it a little bit, do something a little bit different. There you go. It does curve around. I like that. So this will give us a counter of herb. There you go. So we've got, we've now got one herb. I wonder if that nickel's going to give us five herb, or if it'll still just give us one. The heart doesn't give us anything. Okay, good. There's another enemy about, apparently. Oh, right. Hello. Okay, good. The heart's not going to do much for us right now. We do start with kind of low HP. I don't know if we can grab soul hearts as this character. That's something we're going to also have to figure out. So, now that we've got two herp... Okay, stem cells, really not a great item to get as our first one. But now that we've got two herp... We can come over here, and we can blast this. Yeah, okay. We got light blast, and that did give us a bunch of herb. Nice. And then for five, we can smite enemies. So let's try that in the next room and see exactly how that works. So we hold Q. Mm, no? Was it seven herb, maybe? Ah, bugger. Maybe it was seven herb that I needed, not uh, five. Try and get one more and see. Got some pennies there. So we can actually use shops. So I'm interested to see how that works. We've got 11 herb now. We can build it up pretty quick. Okay. So things are discounted. Do, do, do I spend herb? I do indeed spend herb. Okay. Ah, I see. Yeah, it is seven because you can see my... My herb at the bottom there is uh, is lit up. So if I do this, oh shit! Okay, that is not what I was expecting, but I like it. Okay, so by smiting enemies, it basically is just like an insane holy light beam. I can work with that. I'm guessing we want to be really saving that for bosses more than anything. We'll try my best. Um, we are going to need Herb to unlock locks. So we need at least two to be able to get into stuff. Don't think I, I want to really be using it on bosses. But the seven one, the seven cost one, I probably won't use that a lot. I just think that's going to be something that, like, we reserve for, like, really hard boss fights. 
and otherwise we just play as normal. I like it. Nice one. Okay, you've summoned quite a lot of friends here. Ow. Okay, good. Nice one, okay. Pretty, I, I feel pretty strong to start with. I feel like I've got some power going for me. Unfortunately, we've not been given great items to start here, but... Oh well, sometimes we have a humble start as these modded characters. Sometimes we do. But yeah, what do you guys think about the uh, the mechanics of this character? I think uh, this is pretty darn cool. I like the fact that this has um, Spectral. I'm really liking that. And the fact that it does damage on the way there and on the way back is really nice too. Extra heart there if we need it. Oh, god damn. Oh, that, that's a really satisfying sound. Really satisfying. Bollocks. Bollocks. I cannot believe I didn't get hit there. Okay, you're going to be a pain in the ass, aren't you? So to open this up, I've got to go like this, right? Uh, I've got to go... Yeah, okay. Nice. Oh, we get a really, really good new item from the Something Wicked mod pack here. Uh, this is really cool. So it lowers our damage, but basically wherever our tier hits... It, there's a laser that produces. It's really cool. And we can have soul hearts as this character. Great to know. Great to know. But yeah, definitely lower damage overall, but a really, really interesting and fun technology item. I really think it's very, very difficult for modders to do a good job of adding new technology items and like new themed items, you know, like items that are sort of, they have their own theme around them. And this one, very, very good. Very, very good version. I really, really like this. I think it's a, I think it's just a lot of fun. You do your thing. Grab that. So we can come over here and um, we can go boom, boom. There you go. Get ourselves an extra soul heart. I really like the fact that we have a way of destroying rocks on the regular. That's something that you don't get very often that's really nice to see. Got you out the way. You guys are going to fly off, so I don't really have to worry about you. Nice. And a trinket. Not a good trinket, mind you, but decent enough. Laser the hell out of this guy. But yeah, it does, does lower your damage because obviously you're getting the extra laser damage, but I think that's fine. I like that the laser hits before your tier hits as well. It's kind of a nice added bit. Right, let's keep going to wherever our boss may be. Have we seen our boss room already? I don't remember. I think we might have seen our boss room already up this way. No, no, no. We have not. Okay, so we're just on the wrong path right now. So far, though, I like this character. I'm interested to see if there's any, like, sort of unique synergies with our divine cross sort of thing. I'm sure there will be. I'm sure there'll be some interesting synergies with this thing. I need to make sure to find any pennies I can because they are worth a lot. So where the hell's our boss then? I'm a bit confused as to... Maybe I've just stepped the wrong way. So is, is it worth me doing this? Yes. Okay. Oh, this is good too. This is good too. I missed out on the HP up there, but I'm pretty happy with the damage up to be honest because our damage was uh, pretty darn low. It's at only at two right now. So it must be this way, and I've just... Gone the wrong way? Okay, I just haven't been this way. I didn't notice that. My bad, my bad. Okay, so I think this would be worth it, right? If I do this... Yeah, I was going to say, I'll get at least two coins, maybe more. And I can do that here as well to get some HP. Oh, I really like that as a mechanic. That's really fun. Really fun as a mechanic, that. I like that a lot. Good, good, good. What would be really good in this character is the Divine Shield. Divine Intervention Shield. Because that would pair really well with her cross, like, thematically. But also, it's a double tap item and I'm constantly double tapping like this. So it would, like, pair really well with how you play this character. Okay. So we don't have enough to do a mega power shot, but that's fine. I think firing one of our, uh... 
One of our things here while he's jumping will do a lot of damage. Let's try and get one of them going. You keep stopping, my guy. You keep stopping. Dude, what's with all the range ups? <laughs> We've got a lot of HP though, so I'm, I'm well up for a devil deal here. Um, it's not great, but honestly, early enough, it's a guppy item. I'll take it. Um, and we'll just keep going. Yeah, honestly, items haven't been great so far, but at least we've got this cool tech item going. I think that's definitely a, a pretty big bonus for us. Um, and we'll just keep moving along. Nice. We've still actually got our slow down effect from that, uh, from that honey penny. But yeah, damage has definitely been heavily augmented by our throne star thing. I think without that would be in a bit of a rough spot for damage. I think that's that's why the character starts with pretty low base damage anyways, because you have this extra. Oh, come on now. There you go. We got him. And there's another herb. Like I said, the, the, the one that costs seven, I really don't know how much use I'd get out of that. I just don't see it being as valuable as the amount of bombs, uh, like explosions and stuff that we can get out of using it the other way around. Personally, I think that's way more valuable. But I, like I said, I suppose like end game bosses, they might be you, like if you get something like Sackhead, I, I guess there's like a way of you getting like a lot more herp than on a, another run. Um, Humbling Bundle, stuff like that could give you just a lot of herp. I mean, like, look at that. We got tons there. So there is reason to use it because you, you're going to have sometimes that excess. Oh, damn. I think I've just realized that having all this range means that my uh, my thing goes a lot, lot, lot further. Um, so that's actually a really nice reason to have gotten all the extra range we've gotten thus far. Because we're actually being able to hit a lot more enemies off of it. I'm pretty sure it was going nowhere near this far to start with. So I'm liking that a lot. Also, the fact that it's piercing is really nice too. You got Guppy's head. Ooh, Tammy's head hit me there. I think I took up a full soul heart as well. My bad. So, got to do this to get in here. Ooh, Slick Spade. Gotta love it. Really, really like Slick Spade as an item. And let's quickly pop in here and see what we've got going on. I'm guessing I've got to do that to open it. Yeah, that works out. Oh, bollocks. Okay, I've lost a lot of health to a lot of stupid shit so far. Not great. Not great. I hate these enemies so much. These little tiny boys. I always lose track of them and they're like so hard to hit. Okay, good. Good, good. One dead. At least we got these lasers going. If we didn't have these lasers, this would be a much slower run, I think. There you go. Yeah, I lost a lot of HP. I shouldn't have lost. But yeah, now spending seven herb seems way more like, like, like actually plausible because now we're, um, don't, don't you try and technology me. Now we've actually got so much herb backlogged. It makes a lot more sense. Um, this is actually a pretty good room because we get all the extra hearts and we can play at this chest. There you go. We get mum's eye here. We got a mum transformation already. That's crazy. What we got going on in here? Oh my fucking life. Oh no way. Slick Spade just went fucking crazy. That's awesome. So remember, this also counts as money so we can go in here and spend it. And I think it's definitely worth it on this. That's really worthwhile. Honestly, I'm pretty happy with more range up as well. So now I'll spend that too. I don't know why things are slightly cheaper, but nice. Don't mind it. Yeah, love having Slick Spade here. And it does seem like my cross can adopt our Slick Spade tier modifiers. I like that very much. Also, yeah, yet again, we've got even more range. Oh, bugger. How the hell did I balls that up? Okay, so this time, let's actually use this. Ah, oh, that's not what I meant to do at all. It doesn't matter. Okay, I've, I've ballsed it up. I pressed the wrong one. It's fine. I don't want to waste any more of my thingy now. 
I used the explosion on enemies. Kind of worked out for us. Fear on him. Bleed on him. Nice one. Eye of the Occult. Really, really potentially interesting. And... You tempt me with a brimstone. You know I have to. Now I have to say... I am a little... Okay, so... My throne star thing doesn't really do what I wanted to. The, the, the brimstone thing we've got going on right now is pretty... Pretty awesome. I'll give it that. But the, um... The usage of our throne thing is now a little, le like, less valuable. We've got some good stuff going on here, though. But, the good thing is about this character, the throne star isn't, like, the only gimmick. If we, if we stop using that, which we probably are going to at this point, it's just... It's been a nice sort of thing to get us to the point where we no longer need it, and we still have the gimmick um, of uh, the way that consumables work. I kind of like characters like that, where they've got, like, a dual gimmick. Because I feel like with some characters, you have, like, that gimmick, and as soon as you get powerful enough, or as soon as you get to a certain floor, you just stop using the gimmick altogether. And it always feels a bit like, ah. Oh. It always feels a bit like, ah, oh, well... Now the gimmick's no longer part of the run anymore, but I feel like this character, the gimmick is going to sort of hold up throughout. Um, by the way, also, just an absolutely phenomenal synergy here. <laughs> I always forget how absolutely insanely powerful this is. Ah, oh, I really need to be careful. I am losing a lot of HP here. I, I, I mean, obviously, partially this is because my damage is so low that I'm, like, taking damage and stuff. You have to be more careful. We'll try and look out for uh, Tinted Rocks where we can here as well. I'm looking out as much as I can. I think it's probably worth doing this. I was looking for a uh, Black Heart there. Burn Heart's lovely. I'm going to say, we've got the extra ability to use bombs. More so than normal. I kind of like the fact that your bombs, your money, and your keys are all one resource. It kind of allows you to be a lot more fluid with how you use things. And I think that's quite fun. It's an interesting way of doing things. It really sort of spins things on its head a bit. It's so weird how, like, wacky the brimstone goes sometimes. Sometimes it just goes out of control and goes all over the room. I have to say, I quite love that. I mean, we don't have another active. I wouldn't say it's good, but we don't have another active right now. Yeah. Don't know who I want to capture yet. There we go. I'll take on you, because why not? <laughs> Just... Look at it. Oh my god, it covers the entire room sometimes. And then, yeah, I guess I'll uh, check out my shop. The tie, eh, it's, it's actually okay, but I don't think we want to use it. We'll get this guy spawned. He's a different champion than the one I picked up, I'm pretty sure, though. Extra <laughs> bombs here. What I really want is to get Herming with this, because then I think my lasers will do some crazy shit. I'm going to be able to test it out because I've got a Magician, so I'll use that in the boss room coming up. But I want, like, proper Herming to see how this... how much crazier this gets. There we go. That was good. Also, I lost a lot of HP there. My bad. Hey, that's good stuff. I like that. More fire rate. Don't need shot speed either. Keep her going, baby. Keep her going. Now, I wonder if I didn't have Eye of the Occult, if um, if this would work, like, where I'd still be able to fire the, the disc. Because even if I don't, like, I'm double tapping now. Oh, it, it did fire. It did fire. 
It just doesn't fire, like, regularly. Come on, damage up. You know you want to show yourself to me. Ooh, that's probably better for us here. So we'd have to spend herp on uh, opening up chests. Yeah, I really like ha consolidating all your consumables into one resource that you use for all three things. And that's a really, really unique idea. No second burn heart, sadly. And for all the burn hearts I can get my grubby little hands on. Good. And then, yeah, the fact that you can not only, like, use it for everything else, but you can actually use it for combat pretty effectively as well, both by using the bomb, um, the bomb explosion type, but also, if you spend a bit more, you can get a really powerful blast that, against that boss there, was pretty damn valuable. I mean, we saw how much damage it did. It's, 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 pretty, it's pretty damn good. Nice. Crack that open. Taurus. We've not got great speed, and also, like, I don't want to have a situation where I can't fire, so I don't think I'm going to take that. Oh, that was completely waste. I missed. I fired it off too early. Really need to be taking in the champions like this guy. Good. It's kind of confusing though. I was like looking at my money there and I'm like, oh, it's no point going to the shop. I have no money. It's like, no, I don't need money. Money is not an issue. Keep it going. But yeah, the certain items I could just imagine being so goddamn good for this character. I wonder how bomb synergies would work. Because I think you could actually make a potentially really fun bomb run, just because you have so much access to explosions. If, if bomb synergies work with this character, obviously they'd, they'd, they'd initiate from your person, so I don't know how that would work. But I really hope bomb synergies do work, because I think that could be a really interesting way to have, like, a bomb central run. But yeah, I think, again, we go in here with the... Uh, it's got really good radius on it, though, that as well, so you can actually get quite a lot done with it. This guy is, like, a much harder boss the longer you keep him alive, so I'm a little bit scared for what he's going to do here. Yeah, there you go, look. Please don't break my burn heart, please. Thank you. Got him. More HP. More devil deals. <laughs> okay. Black book. Apply random stats effect to enemies in the room. Yeah, that sounds fun. We'll try that out. So two room charge. I'm guessing it'll apply like to a random amount of enemies or like enemies in radius. It won't just apply to every enemy in the room. If it does every enemy in the room, it could be a really good uh, book this. Okay, it does every enemy in the room and each enemy gets its own stats effect. I would have thought every enemy gets the same stats effect. This on a two room charge is pretty great. Well, that's a very, very strong book for a two room charge if it works on every enemy in the room. Obviously, some stats effects are going to be a lot weaker than others. But overall, this is pretty damn good. Like, yeah, charm is not really what you want. Fear is not really what you want. But it lasts, they lasted a while there. Like, confusion, um, stone, poison, anything damaging is going to be really, really good. And, and honestly, charm on certain rooms isn't going to be bad. These are my soul charges. I don't think you can steal them away from me. Awesome. 
And yeah, the, the fact that you can freeze them into gold as well is pretty awesome. Crack this open. Uh, it doesn't really do much for us with the sack room. I'll definitely buy the soul heart there. Love this. So, uh, some pennies giving us more than one charge. I felt like that. what, what was happening there. Oh, I, I minuscule this guy, but these guys had their head down, so they didn't actually get affected. Good. We don't need to be going back and picking stuff up, to be honest. Oh my god. This is the room we should have been using our goddamn book on. That last room's a waste. This room would have been very useful. Quickly go back and get all the stuff we've missed here, because although we've got a ton of power up already, there's no point leaving it behind if we can grab it. Yeah, get, getting getting this with like 9 volt and having it on a one room charge would make it an insanely good book. This is depth 2. Let's go to our item room first. I have missed out on said item room. Go back over this way. Trinket? Nah, no thank you with a diaper. I think I'll be okay with my free golden chests, thank you. Making a mini is a pretty good one as well, to be honest. Depending on the enemies, of course. Hmm, you could be potentially useful to play. Get some extra stat ups, get some items potentially. Is that everyone? No. Is that everyone? No. Is that everyone? Yeah. 25% uh, chance for blue flies tend to a locust of war. Okay, I have an interesting idea here. I'm going to take this. Um, then, I, I actually, actually, sorry, no. I'm going to leave this there. And I'm going to come back over here. Back over here. And if I remember correctly, I think we went into this way. Rotten hearts turn into half um, red hearts when lost. Red hearts turn to rotten hearts while at full health. Okay, so basically you come back over here now. Bloody trinket, get out of the way. Why'd I place it right there? And then this red heart here. Ah, oh, what the fuck? Okay, no, that, there you go. It did work, it did work. Okay, so hold on to this for a little bit and try and get... Um, Try and get a few more red hearts. The fact that it can turn enemies gold Midas Touch style is kind of insane. That's very, very strong. Oh, really? Eternal D12? You're going to put that nonsense on me? Okay, great. Okay, so now we've got two Rotten Hearts. Now we can take that Owl thing and it'll potentially make them into Locusts of War. Which I think is pretty awesome. We just gotta make sure to try and keep the Rotten Hearts alive. So we come back over here. Nope, wrong one. We take that now. Um... Can we potentially... Okay, we can't even play this guy, unfortunately. We can at least bomb him. Got tears up. Gotta love that tears up. I love the fact that it's just a flat 25. Oh, that's so useful. But yeah, so now... We, uh, we have this little feather trinket, which has a 25% chance to make any blue fly into a locust of war. If that's how I remember it working, right? Uh, yeah, so now with we get four blue flies per room because of rotten hearts, and that should work really, really well for us. 
Oh my god, that was so good. <laughs> oh, I'm loving this on Mum's foot. Oh, I'm loving that on Mum's foot, I tell ya. That was awesome. We'll take that. We go down, and yeah, now, now, like, it's only a 25% chance, but that's a, that's literally what, that potentially one of our four flies every time. So we'll, we'll see how that goes. Now, obviously, the thing is we have to let all the flies get used on enemies before new ones will be, uh, like, summoned, or new ones will be spawned, otherwise it'll, because it never lets you go over the limit of four. But every single time we have a pretty decent chance of one of them being a locust of war, which I think is pretty cool. As long as it does work with rotten hearts, like, that's my understanding that it probably would, but it might not. So we shall see. We shall see. There we go, we got one look. Awesome. It worked as expected. Oh, balls. Kind of a rough room that was. Good. Very annoying enemies. Glad we were able to take them out so swiftly. My god. I'm loving this synergy. It's so goddamn strong. But yeah. And the thing is as well, our Locusts of War don't count to our four fly limit of like Rotten Hearts. So essentially we could stack up multiple um, locusts of War by constantly getting more and more each room that spawns them. Obviously, we'd have to not use them on any enemies for that to happen and use our blue flies up each room. So it's, it's, it's circumstantial, but it could happen. Oh my god. Dude! Why do they exist? Oh, we got teleported straight into the boss here. Okay. Managed to get some good shit going on there. Nice one. Our big booms helped a lot there. More range, goddamn. Okay, skip it down to the next floor. Really, really love this character so far. I think it's very, very unique. I do wish, like, like I said, um, I do wish the the throwable thing had like some more synergies. Like, I I know that it'd probably be quite strong if it did, but like, I, in taking Brimstone and Eye of the Occult, I was kind of hoping they'd do something special with um with the little throne cross. Sadly, they do not. That'd be pretty cool to see in the future. Look at our little locusts going along, doing their thing. I like this trinket. It see because it, on the surface it seems like an insanely strong trinket. Twenty five percent chance for any blue fly to be a locust of war, but it's one of the. I, I absolutely love these trinkets that are designed specifically in the way where they are busted under the right specific circumstances. Like like Baby Bender. Baby Bender is like a perfect example of that. On so many runs that you get it. It's useless. You get very, very little use out of it. But on some runs, you have, like, little brimstone and stuff like that, and it becomes absolutely amazing. Or you have, or you're playing as Lilith, and yeah, it just becomes god tier. I love trinkets like that, and I think this is another one of those trinkets. I've actually seen this trinket quite a few times now. This is probably, like, my sixth or seventh time seeing this trinket, and I've never actually taken it. Because on all of those runs, I've always not had a way of generating um, blue flies regularly. 
I didn't have like a rotten baby or anything like that, but this time I, I managed to get a pretty unique synergy or situation there where I got a different trinket that allowed me to generate some rotten hearts, which now means I have a permanent way, at least until I lose the, the uh, rotten hearts, to get blue flies, and it makes this trinket really, really strong. But on most runs that you see this trinket, it's not actually good. It's not going to be useful for you, because many runs you don't have a permanent way of generating blue flies. But when you do have a way, oh god, it's a good trinket. And I, I think I think that is exactly how trinkets should work. Obviously, there's going to be some trinkets like Curved Horn um, and Cancer that are just blanket upgrades every single time you see them. But I genuinely think that for the most part, the, the idea behind trinkets and the design behind how, how they should be um, like balanced is they should be strong... Like, they should, all, all trinkets should have the chance to be strong, but not be strong for every run. There should be situational buffs, um, and I, I think a lot of them are. Um, this is just a really good example of it, in my opinion. Really good example of it. Come on now. Come on now. There you go. Hehehe, <laughs> look at that. Absolutely love that. Oh, I managed to freeze you. Oh, I can kill you. I can kill you while you're invincible there, apparently. What the fuck? It's awesome. Okay. Good mum's heart kill. I like it. I love it. I want some more of it. Oh, lump of coal, please. Please, lump of coal. That would be so busted with this setup. Oh my god. Yeah. It's game over for all the enemies now. Like, our damage has been kind of shit this whole run. Obviously, Brimstone makes it a lot better, but it's been pretty bad. This just made it absolutely insane. Because it curls and curves so, so much that... It's at, like, maximum size, like, all the time. So, we are going to be doing so much damage. Even to enemies close by, because it, like, curls and curves so much that it gets the full benefit, regardless. Yeah, I like this. You can clearly see how much damage it does. I just, I love the fact that Lump of Coal doesn't have, like, a maximum buff, really. Or at least if it does, it's, like, high. Like, it can, it can scale, like, insanely high. It's an interesting room design. Probably just gonna sit over here and not worry about it. But yeah, you can see when it does its, like, curling back on itself malarkey. But it's kind of crazy for us. By the end, the brimstone is very thick. Yeah, keep it going. I'm not really worried about getting, uh, getting more charges for our soul thing now, now that we've got Lump of Coal. Because I no longer need to use our seven, uh... Like, our smite ability on bosses. Before, I, like, our smite ability was actually pretty necessary to making sure that uh, bosses could be killed in a timely manner. Now, with Lump of Coal, we should be killing bosses pretty darn quickly. Like, you'll see, compared to our last boss, when we quit, when we kill Isaac, it's uh, it'll be completely different. There's going to be Palties in this room as well. This room speaks of Palties. No, no, I guess not. I thought those pots in the middle would be prime for picking up and throwing at us. Oh, there was an Eternal Heart back there. I need to go and grab that before we finish off. It's actually not crazy how much more damage we're doing right now. It's all about getting the Brimstone in the right sort of angle, though. Also, as well, when he starts teleporting away from us and is actually a good distance away, we'll start to see more results. Like this. Yeah, pretty good damage there. Nice. 
nice one. Right, quickly grab that Eternal Heart that I saw spawn. Good, good. And in we go. We have seven um, of these, but I think we can push the chests together. And then open them all at once. Jeez, I don't think I've ever actually done this before, where I've been able to like push the chests. I've always had keys. And then I think I can just go boom. And yeah, it'll open all of them. Nice one. Um... Yeah, sounds good. Seems good. It seems good. Nice. What's that effect that I put on you there? How did I make you blue? Hippity hop boy. Ooh, another eternal heart. Not going to get a chance to proc, but I'll take it. Good stuff there. Cookbook doesn't do much for us, but I'll pick it up for a potential bookworm later down the line. Oh my god, Lump of Coal. You are so good. Our damage is so low and Lump of Coal has just made it so much better. Oh wait, I actually have to kill these guys? Normally you don't. Strange room, strange room. Oh my god. So much happened there. See, okay, this is this is good. I want to test. So if I do this, eh, it does work with bomb upgrades. Okay, so this character as a character to like play around with bomb upgrades could be immensely fun because you have so much more access to using bombs because it's based on the um, your soul count. Um, I really like that. I think that's a really, really cool uh, part of this character. That unfortunately, we didn't really get to explore this run, but in future runs, I suppose that could be something that could be really, really fun. It's being able to mess around with your bomb upgrades in order to get some cool stuff going on. Like imagine with brimstone bombs, stuff like that, it'd be kind of crazy. Bleed effect is actually pretty good. A, also Locust of War, working with bomb upgrades. I always forget that's a thing. Right, we can actually um, use this now. That was a really good hit as well. I always forget this guy has boss armor when he... So, if you didn't know, with this uh, rework of the Blue Baby fight, the way that it works is when he changes to a new phase, he gets boss armor um, that slowly fades away. Basically meaning when the phase first starts, you can't actually, like, in, you can't basically insta-kill him down to the next phase. You have to, like, take it a bit slower because the game basically forces it. But it's not like Hush where the fight takes forever because he's just got a ton of uh, boss armor because the boss armor slowly fades away. So that essentially you can't insta-kill them, but if you're strong, you're still going to get a massive benefit. I love the Blue Baby fight rework. It's so good. Anyways, there you go. A nice a nice win. We'll leave it there. We don't really have the HP for a Delirium. But a really cool showcase of this character. I hope you guys did enjoy. And I'll see you guys in the next one.